Hi guys, it's Karen here again. Um, and today I'm using this um, background paper that I, where I've used up some paint from a previous um, project and I just used up the paint on, uh, on this paper and thought, well, I'll get around to using it one day as a background. Um, and this is the picture I always had intended to, to use it for, so I thought I'd finally get around to doing it. This is from our Canadian holiday last year. Um, and we're actually um, we're visiting the cottage of my, my cousin and her husband um, in the Gatineau Hills. It was just by a lake, um, beautiful spot. And I've been wanting to do a scrapbook page of it for a while. Um, and so I thought this paper would work quite well. And also I'm using these glass beads. This is a pot of glass beads. They just give the page a bit of sparkle. And I thought it would be quite nice just as part of the uh, part of the background. I'm just doing a sort of um, like a branchy effect, I suppose, just doing some some bits of sparkle going down on top of that green, that dark green, just to give it a bit of lift and a bit of sparkle. Um, and um, I'm just just using, I think this is an Echo Park mask. It's just um, slightly um leafy or i'm not quite sure really what you'd call the uh, the pattern but i quite like it as a as a background i have used it a couple of times another page in a similar way um and once it dries um it dries clear but you just get this sparkly um beads beady effect in the background um so i'm just going to let that dry while i get started on um the uh, leaf i'm going to do some leaves so i'm going to punch and also die cut some leaves and all these different scraps of green um, which are all going to be um, layered over the top of that background so I've just got out all my scraps all my green scraps and here I'm using my little Sizzix sidekick um, to die cut leaves uh, they're like falling leaves I suppose it's like leaves on, on a branch and I'm going to just cut loads and loads of those from all different colours um, using this this little machine I really I love my little sidekick it's um it's so tiny, but it's it's great for cutting these small small areas of these small shapes. So as you can see, I've now got, got a pile of green leaves, and I'm just finishing off with the last couple. And I'm just going to use my little pokey tool there to punch them out of the die. I decided that the punch, although I did punch a couple out, it's really quite they were a bit too small. I wanted something these are sort of like a longer, like a frond. I suppose of leaves and, I, and that worked a bit better so I, I did get a couple punched out but mostly I've used this uh, this die cutting machine and, and my little leaf dies I've got a little selection of leaf dies and I've just used a couple of them here so I'm just kind of clearing that clearing all those away used up quite a lot of quite a variety of greens and because uh, I thought well no no background no um, trees the, the greens if you look at them are never all the same so I'm just roughly lying them down here on the background just to get an idea of where I want them to go and you can see there's a variety of colours there some blend in with the dark background and some are more uh, lighter colour and stand out a bit more I think that's what that makes it um, makes it look more realistic I think in a way not that it's particularly realistic I suppose but uh, it gives a, a variety of shades of green I think is, is more true to what it should be um, so I'm just laying them down that when I actually get around to sticking them it'll end up looking a little bit different but uh, I thought well, just this is this is the uh, roughly the idea I'm going for is to lay them all down in as though it's like a hanging over the the cottage because the cottage was surrounded as you can see from the photograph by trees it was in a little clearing and it led down to a lake um, and so there were trees all around it so that's the the, uh, the image I'm trying to portray is the idea of these um, these uh, trees are uh, all around hanging over the hanging over the cottage and when they called it a cottage we had no idea what to expect when we arrived and we were really amazed it's such a beautiful it's, it's like well it is a cottage but it's, it's like a summer house or I don't know what you'd call it but it was it was far bigger and and uh, more beautiful than we had expected so we were really we had a really wonderful weekend there and uh, yeah, we, we thought it was just a beautiful place. So there we are, they're all stuck down and um, I've only sort of um, stuck them down the middle so that there's a bit of life. The, the leaves don't uh, aren't too flat, gives it a little bit more dimension. Um, and this is a, a paper from um, One Canoe to Creekside collection. I don't remember the name of the paper and of course I've used the branding strip and I've stuck it down on the page so and I forgot to check what it was called before I stuck it down so I can't even check now um, but it's got these little trees 
And I thought that went quite well at the bottom there, just to ground the, the, the page at the bottom and give um, somewhere for my other photograph to go, which we'll get back to in a moment. I'm just die cutting a few more of these leaf shapes. It's a different shape to the ones I've done before. Um, well, I've done a couple of those. But if you turn them the other way up, they look like little trees. So that's how I'm going to use them. I'm going to use these ones as trees and just to use them as little embellishments around the photographs. The photograph at the bottom is my husband sitting on the deck looking down towards the water. So it's looking out from the from the, uh, from the cottage and I thought it, uh, it went rather well. So you get both views up to the cottage and then down to the lake from the cottage. So I'm just sticking down the... Um, the papers at the bottom here just to to uh, ground the page at the bottom and I put a bit of foam on my on my main photo um, uh, but not on the other one I've just put it on this on the bigger one and then I'm going to just tuck the other one slightly underneath it and I'm just looking for some embellishments. I bought a lot of, when we were in Canada, I actually visited Michael's, which I got very excited about, um, in Ottawa. And uh, bought quite a lot of stickers and all, and all sorts of things that were Canada related because I knew I'd be doing a um, an album of my photographs. And um, I thought I quite liked the idea of this, I don't know, call it a moose or a caribou, um, peeking out from behind the cottage. Of course, there weren't any, This is, but this is, you know, this isn't, necessarily reflecting real life and I just liked like the put the sticker there and then I've got a, a another one there's a chipboard version um, which I'm going to pop at the bottom there as well because I think it just you know, gives a bit of an atmosphere that it we were a long way from anywhere and there was we were surrounded by trees and who knows there might have been some great some uh, caribou moose whatever you call them. There, there is a chipboard sticker that i'm going to use it says attention caribou crossing so i'm assuming that's possibly what is around um this area and i also had this fanciful idea though i didn't go ahead with it but i'm playing with it for the, for the time being of, of having a bear peeking out from behind that tree sticker so i do have a have a play with that in a moment and see if that it works but that's possibly taking things just a bit too far I'm just popping these trees, so trees in inverted commas because they're meant to be leaves really, but they look like trees to me. And here's that uh, that tree sticker that I thought would be nice in that bottom left corner. And here I am sticking the, the bear onto a piece of wax as well so I can have a go with it. So I had the idea of having it peeking out from behind the tree. Um, but in the end, I thought that was that really just was a bit too much. So I've just stuck with the tree. I thought that looked quite nice in that in that corner anyway. And there we go, stuck that one on. And then this is a little chipboard sticker. It says "Attention, Caribou Crossing," and it says it in English and in French because this area of Canada is actually we were just into Quebec here. Although my my cousins all live in in Ottawa, it's not very far. It was about an hour and a half drive out and we went into the Gatineau Hills and this was a lake that was um, near there. I can't remember the name of the lake, unfortunately, but it was in it was in Quebec. So everything was in French and English. So I'm just sticking down the picture of the cottage. And now I'm looking for a few more, a few more little stickers and embellishments just to tuck around the photograph. So this is a little clear sticker of a I suppose a stylized tree I just quite like the like that cut the uh, color of that one so I just popped it in there and now I'm going to stick down my die cut trees I think yep just sticking those down there we are they're all stuck down and now I'm going to do my title and it's um very creative I'm calling it the cottage because that's what it's all about just that uh, it was about us arriving there and, and being blown away by how what a beautiful spot it was, what a beautiful place it was. The cottage was gorgeous inside. Um, and I put inverted commas there because to me it's, it's a bit more than just a cottage. A cottage is a small, a very small building and this was not small in any way. Um, it was it was quite large and it didn't, the cottage it did seem to be a bit um, um, understating the case, calling it a cottage. So I've just called it the cottage in inverted commas. 
and uh, I'm using these glittery gold foam thickers which I think are really lovely and and it's nice to have a bit of the the warmer colors in there there's a lot of green a lot of cool colors but I thought just having a bit of gold here and there worked really well um, and there's just a little blank space there at the top of that in that corner between the photo, two photos and the, and the two little trees I've put some washi in there there's a bit of gold sparkly washi right at the edge and then some another piece of washi with uh, trees on it I think it's a Christmas washi with Christmas trees but they they fit in with everything else because it where, where I've put that bit of journaling it just looked there was a bit of this blank space which is why I've put the washi there so the journaling is is taken from um, there's some die cuts from the Creekside collection that I've used and this is these were the bits inside a couple of frames that I've used as my journaling spots just explaining how we when we arrived we were really um, we had no idea what to expect and we were really really impressed it was a real wow moment when we first saw it so I'm just popping in a few little bits of and I'm just sticking down those two leaves onto the photo because they were sticking up too much those those little leaves on that tree there on so I just stuck it down to the photo picked out a little canoe from the um, ephemera pack from the one the creeks ephemera pack because right at the bottom where you can see the lake um, is where they had they had various boats and canoes and kayaks which we made great deal of use of over the weekend and that would just seemed appropriate to pop that in there because that's what we did a lot of the time and I'm just using the other part of that gold glittery um, washi tape I, I cut it down the middle to make it a narrower piece so I use the other little piece just to edge the photo there and fill in that little space now there's just a few a few enamel dots dotting it around and I think I'm nearly there it's just just finishing off with the final I really I really enjoyed doing this this page it was it was lovely to be able to use that background I've, I've done I have a couple of those and it's the first time I've used one and I really love how it, how it turned out and I really enjoyed making it um, I've been wanting to get back to my Canada photos so I'll probably be doing a few more of those now and um, and this was a really fun page to make. I'm, I'm really pleased how it turned out. So I'm just doing the date there. And I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I've just gone over 100, which I'm very excited about. I never thought I'd make it to 100. So thank you very much, everybody who subscribed. And um, I hope you enjoy this page and will join me again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>